good morning everyone oh wow I've been I've been up <laughs> but it's cool the weather is really nice today um, I think it's because like the storms Elsa has made everything a lot you know nicer to deal with our heat wave has passed. There are like there there are so many there are so many things to be grateful for this morning. I got to hang out with my good buddies uh, Taylor and Ashley this morning, so that that was great. That was a lot of fun. I I, I appreciated them hanging out with me. Oh, thank you for the host, Shiny Knight. Ah, hello, hello. Hi, Charlie. What's up? Are you in class yet? Like, <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why I felt the need to call you out like that, but are, but are you? Because you, you know, I, I don't mind you hanging out with me, but maybe, maybe, class. <laughs> I hit my mic, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so. Um, my plans for today are to, um, okay, so basically yesterday I wrote a really beautiful outline. I got a lot of, um, actual world building stuff done, but then I had to like pause a bit because, um, I'm also helping wife world build. That was a lot of fun. I, um, I didn't realize how good like how how useful it would be to like actually do that you know just like talking over stuff um with my wife and her projects um i asked a lot of really dumb questions like where are the schools you know and where do bodies go when they like pass on <laughs> which um which apparently she hadn't figured out yet, so I'm glad that I was able to help like that. <gasps> oh my god, it's Gemma! Sorry, am I being too loud? It's Gemma! Hi Gemma! Hi! Hi! Okay, let, let's see, is that better? I think this is better. Hi! <laughs> I haven't seen you in such a long time! It's going really well. Um, I'm, I'm doing stuff. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I, I didn't actually get much work done on my, um, on anything other than my outline. I just did it and went, I'm going to whine about my, about the, the lack of eggs in my refrigerator. <laughs> so, uh, it's been entire, what, weeks? Oh my god, what is time? <laughs> Gemma, that's too that's too deep a question for me. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I think we should get writing. Right? <gasps> right? Let's do that. Let us warm up with a 10 minute sprint. Uh, yes, it is. It is actually, it's not that early. It's like 11 a.m. I should be awake at this point, but I'm still not. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Um, now I'm just distracted. Wait, actually, no, I'm not. I'm like, I'm trying to do something trying to do something there, there it is I'm good <laughs> I was still in bed at 11 a.m. yeah cuz you're a smart person um, I woke up at 8 and I gave my cats treats and that was a mistake okay um, is chicken son alive <gasps> chicken son's alive yay okay so I'm gonna focus I'm going to write I promise I promise There'll be a writing done today. Okay? Okay. Good. Ten minutes. Starting in three, two, one, go!
Yo, I think I've just been babbling. Like, what? What is this? What did I write? Where? <laughs> what did I do yesterday? That's not a word. Thank you so much for dropping by, Gemma. I really appreciate it. I hope you get some rest, okay? Because you need to, you need sleeps. Sleeps is good for mental health. Thank you so much for dropping by. Um, I spent time setting up so... Okay, Amy. I've been sitting here for like an hour and I still have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> For the record, I felt no peer pressure at all from the other envelites and certainly didn't compete complete all ten prompts on last night. <gasps> Gemma Why you do these things to yourself? Oh no, I'm gonna Oh hey. This is your impromptu, like, intervention. Gemma. <laughs> Gemma. Ten prompts is a lot. It only took four hours. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty sure you're already feeling the pain. So I'm just going to say, good job. I'm very proud of you. Thank you for taking that on yourself. But um next time this happens, maybe maybe consider that this is something that you do. That thing that is peer pressure. So, you know, like it's just just for just for future Gemma. <laughs> I just I just wanted to pr and now that you did and now that you proved it, you can be like, peace. <laughs> I'm out. Um, okay. Yeah. And you definitely did. You definitely 100% did the thing that you wanted to do. And for that, good job. I am impressed. I always knew you could do it, even though I didn't know this was a thing that was happening. <laughs> Actually, I kind of did know it was a thing that was happening. I was just like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing 10 prompts. I won't. <laughs> um, could you, like, just, can you, like, give us three example prompts? Like, what, what are they? How, how did that work? Ooh. They broke through your Australian brand cynicism? That's impressive. Stretch! Oh god, stretching. Hello, cat! What's up, my friend? Oh. That was a sound that my body did indeed make. Yay! Uh, um... Let me just... Let me just do... Uh-oh. It's-a me! Kath! <laughs> Mario! Okay, okay, okay. So. So. I want to get started on another sprint because I none of that made any sense and I have to read through it and um, if I continue to get distracted I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like sit here and chat for the rest of forever so let's do that first 20 minute sprint we are focused we are clear of thought we are clear of mind 20 minutes starting in three, two, one, go!
<laughs> Dark Souls, Mickey. what I did. Guys, did you know that if you space out paragraphs, it makes your writing better?
that happened. <laughs> How did everybody do? Um, I'm still thinking about anarchist space wizards. Uh, space wizards. Pa space lizards. That works for me. Come on. Come on. Friend. Friend. Are you behaving? Yes. Thanks, buddy. Found an actress? Hello. Um, I found an actress who has a similar voice to one of my characters, because, you know, that's important for a book's characters. Er, actually, it is! Because, um, it's, it's very rare that people, um, talk about the sound of someone's voice, um, in books, but I like it when it's included. So the fact that you put that in, I love that. I I'm I'm fully behind that space losers space lizards friend are you behaving <laughs> I just heard you say that and first I thought you were dead ass talking about me because I was slacking off <laughs> yes I was I was I was talking about you as you yeah I I um. I need to start doing that. That is a that is a very good point that I should keep in mind next time I'm uh, thinking about my characters because I always like quote unquote hearing what the character sounds like. But how do you describe that? Oh, it's hard. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that's difficult. Um. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right? Right, right, right? All of those lovely adjectives. Whoa. What does my... What does my main character sound like? Oh, now, thank you. Um, I have something to focus on, Amy. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, thanks for the voice reminder. I think I completely forgot that in my current story, at least I focused a lot on scent. Yep, 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 yep. Um, smell is also good. Um, I... 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 Um, I have a really good sense of smell, which means I'm all <laughs> I'm always sniffing things. Um, so I always like there are places that I just that I walk into, like grocery stores or um, libraries, and the first thing I do is like smell the air, and I'm like, ah, this is where I'm at. This this is what I'm doing right now. Um. So, for that sprint, I was hugely distracted. Oh no, I opened something. Why am I dumb? Shutting you. Um, I, I was hugely distracted for that sprint, to be totally honest with you guys. Um, that was not a good sprint for me. Yes! It's, um, it's like, um, it used to be called Swan's Way, but it's now called something something lost what what do they call it now in search of lost time yeah it's called in search of lost time now hazel worked on her um do you prefer her or there um because i know that you go by either or but what would you prefer um, Hazel, um, where are you? There you are. Hazel worked on their OBS setup. Her is great. Her OBS setup. Sorry, I was being kind of chatty. Oh my god, please do not worry about being chatty in my streams. Um, it you weren't the distraction. My 
my thought process is the distraction. My distraction is I know how to start the thing, but I am trying very hard not to get too attached to um Uh, how do I say this without spoilers? I'm trying not to get too attached to a group of people that are not going to be with us for very long. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, and it's, it's hard for me because I feel for them. So, yeah, I, I, I. I wrote a lot about their lives and their personalities. A lot of things that I know aren't going to make it in the book itself because it's a lot of slog. It's a lot of it's a lot of words that um if I were being if I were being like fairly militant when it comes to um cutting when it comes to editing and I am I'm very I'm very mean to myself. I um I do the classical kill your darlings, which is, oh, I had so much fun writing this. It's not going to remain in the book because um, it doesn't fit. That That's the kind of kill your darlings I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, um, I'm sad that like I wrote a bunch of backstory for these people and uh, they're going to be gone in two pages. <laughs> <laughs> the work in progress that I am working on has been uh, titled Vegan Vampires, but it's vegan not like um, actual vegan. It's vegan trademark vegan, which is, um, you, you know, you know the kind of vegans that I'm talking about, right? Like, Gemma, you would, you would know. I feel like you would know. I feel like you know. <laughs> <laughs> 101 Mystic is here! I'm a bit late, but I'm here now and awake. One of us has to be. And I'm glad it's you. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyways, I like to think of it as um, a cross between Clueless and Interview with a Vampire. There's a lot of, there's a lot of anti-capitalist statement. <laughs> Um, in in the story, and I think I think it's good. I think it works. I think I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I I posted snippets of my um, work in progress before, and then I deleted them from the manuscript. They're not actually a part of it anymore, even though I really enjoyed them. Okay, so I think we've been chatting for a while. Let's do this. Let us write because Mystic is here. And um, Mystic is going to keep us focused. <gasps> time for sprint. Wait, time to sprint for 20 minutes? Who are you? Insane. <laughs> oh, you're a new person. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Let's start on our second. Wait, what? Oh no! You know what? F it. I already did that. We just did our first, right? Oh, I'm so confused. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just do this twice. Okay! Second 20 minute sprint. I can do this. I need more coffee. Let's go. 20 minutes. Starting in 3, 2, 1, go!
Okay, so I wrote words, and then, um, yeah, yeah, it's a very distracted stream for me, um, I think, I think it's, like, I think, um, uh, Mystic has, a little bit like I think I think they've got like th they've hit it on the nose because why do I feel like this right now I don't know <laughs> is it is it lack of sleep is it the fact that my arms hurt like I'm not entirely sure why I am not as focused today as I was yesterday what do you guys do when you're feeling a little bit like scatterbrained? Like, talk me through this. Did I? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> what do you guys do when you're feeling like, uh, what are words? How to life? 429 words for episode 15 for Kitty. I work on character pro. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you're funny. Amy says she works on character profiles. I appreciate I appreciate you admitting that, friend. <laughs> Here I was thinking that you were like super productive today, but you're like, uh, I just don't want to write. <laughs> Which is fair because AB has a cold today. Um, speaking of weird illnesses, I have a rash on my forehead, which is why I'm not wearing makeup today. I'm wearing mascara though, but uh, I have a forehead rash. That is not good. 
I don't know. I don't know what I did to my forehead. I don't like it. Oh, it's probably some. I'm allergic to a bunch of weird stuff, so I'm pretty sure that's why that's happening. But uh, I remind myself I'm human, says Mystic. I make sure I've eaten, had water, whatever I need to keep myself balanced. A little bit of extra exercise, sometimes we just have bad days. And if I do a little bit of work on a bad day, I still did work, preach! I can't always have a huge word count. Yeah, you're right. You're definitely, you definitely got a point. Um, sometimes you have to give yourself permission to be scatterbrained. Maybe write something for fun, completely outside of what you're taking into. Pout. <laughs> My response to that is to pout a little bit. Oof. I'm so thankful I don't have to deal with allergies and stuff. Those seem rough going from friends and relatives that do struggle with them. You are a lucky, lucky friend, Bill. Um, I thought I didn't have any allergies and then I moved to this country and then I was like, oh, I'm allergic to a lot of things in America. <laughs> Like, I'm allergic to certain, like, trees. I'm very allergic to certain trees. Um, I'm allergic to... I'm pretty sure I'm not allergic to weeds. But, like, trees, definitely, I'm like, nope. Uh, very much nope. Camphor, specifically, sucks. Watch the rash. It could be a part of post-COVID illness. My Uncle Gary has a rash on his legs that got really gross that they're saying is post-COVID syndrome. Not to be like a hypochondriac, just make sure it doesn't get weepy. That seems fine. <laughs> You're, you have a point though. It might be due to the fact that I'm not breathing that much. Like, I, I, yeah. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's just allergies, though, because, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's allergies. Uh, don't let anyone ever tell you turkey bacon is the same as regular bacon, because it's not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the same. It isn't. I'm thinking about bacon now. I think I have some in the fridge. <laughs> okay, so I've chatted, I've vented. Let's write. Yeah, I think I think we can write. I'm going to I'm going to keep pushing myself to write. But if I get sad, I'm going to bring the switch out and play 15 minutes of Dragon Quest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, Levi is back, so I think it's it's a good time to start sprinting again. We just waited for you, Betty. <laughs> okay. If you see me disappear and come back with a switch, you know what happened. Okay? <laughs> the actually third 20-minute sprint starts. In three, two, one, go.
was fun! <laughs> that was much better this time around. Um, I had to figure out. I had to do a little bit of research then. But uh, the research that I did was good. And also... Hello. Hello, kitty. Say hi. Say hi, kitty. It's just my elbow. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I just wanted to show you off to my friends. Is a kitty. <laughs> oh, kitty's gone down. Thank you, that one, M's. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> The answer is Mel. Um, so, is alabaster color like white, beige, golden like? Me trying to figure out if I want to make white snow white dragon or this weird alabaster white color. Why are there so many shades of white? How can there be so many shades of white? That's a brilliant question. <laughs> let me, let me see. Well, alabaster is just more, a more like specific kind of white. Because when you say something is alabaster, it brings to mind thoughts of statuary. Um, it brings to mind like a kind of multifaceted white color that's not really white. It's more like A stonier shade of flesh color. <laughs> okay. So. So. My cat doesn't love me. Well, I mean, my cat, my cat loves me. It's just, my cat doesn't want to be held right now. Because even though she is fluffy and a rag doll, she's like, no hugs for you. Parent. Scoff. I scoff in the face of your hugging. We have hit, though, the fourth 20 minute sprint. There are going to be four more sprints after this one, and I actually know what I'm doing now. So, I'm just gonna stealthily do this. Stealth. That was stealth, right? We're stealth. We're good. We're good at stealth. 20 minutes. Um, we could do this. We can write. And also, Levi, you can figure out what alabaster is. I personally believe that a dragon, because a dragon has scales, would be more alabaster than actually white. Because, you know, scales basically act as a form of armor, right? And alabaster has this kind of visual texture to it that looks hard. So you can just call it a quote unquote white dragon, but the people who have seen this dragon before can be like, ah, oh, yes, the dragon with the alabaster scales. I love how power character profiles really get you thinking. Me too! Fingers crossed! Ditto also me! Because I live in a place that's surrounded by trees and you have been warned that it's going to be bad. <gasps> oh... Um... Treats. Find, find good treats. Okay. 20 minutes, starting in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs>
how did everybody do? Um, turns out... I don't actually know that much about, um... This thing. So I, uh, I researched it a little bit. I'm being, I'm being purposefully vague. <laughs> you know, just in case there are people in the audience who wouldn't want to get spoiled. But I, um, yes. Thoughts. Research. How did everybody do? Hazel is back from lunch. Mystic wrote some words. I mean, it's 842 since I joined you a little over an hour ago. Those are a lot of words. Okay, I'm definitely proud of you. Um, I'm going, I'm planning on going for a little bit longer. Um, so, there's definitely more words, bleh, words to be gotten. Whatever word I was trying to pull up just then. Huh. Interesting, very, very interesting. Um, went over time making good progress. Yes, good job. Um, like, um, but I like writing about 3,000 words per day, so it feels tiny. I, I, oh, I am, um, I feel you. I definitely feel that, um, I had about... When I first started, um, when I was just like drafting this book that I'm writing right now, I would have like, I think, I would easily hit 7,000 words a day. But now I'm like, there are times when I'd hit 1,500 and it's like, oh, 1,500 is fine. <laughs> 15, 1,500 is great. stairs into the void. You know what I mean? Change the hair color of my MC from white to alabaster white. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I agree. There's that's actually like seeing it in um seeing it in hair form that actually that actually would be very pretty. Yeah. That'd be incredibly pretty. Yeah, I'm still just reading. <laughs> Words. Any words are better than bad words, or um, than no words. <laughs> I just, I just pictured you writing a string of profanity. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you've been tempted, right? To just, it's all curse words for paragraphs on end. <sighs> okay all the profanity. I I think I think I'm just psyching myself out. Yeah. I think I'm just psyching myself out. What if um so you know how albino rabbits have red eyes? What if your dragon had red horns? I do have a character who's just the rudest person I could come up with and she is so fun to write. She has the most perverted imagery when she's describing things. Um, in Russian, there is a particular quote unquote dialect where you can basically just have full on like dramatic prose, but it's all cursing. 
Um, I'm pretty sure Nia would be able to explain that more because Nia is Russian. Oh, Nia is, is my wife, by the way. Oh, did that spark thoughts, Levi? Are you are you thinking things? Was that good? <laughs> okay. Um, I think I think I'm just psyching myself out, you guys. Yourself? I'm thinking things. Yourself teaching Russian? Whoa! I'm so proud of you. It's such a hard language to learn. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying right now by reading, reading Russian books, which is how I taught myself how to speak English, and that worked out, so... No thinging things is funnier! Keep it things! <laughs> okay. Let's do this. I, I refuse to psych myself out any longer. I'm just going to bite this bullet. Biting a bullet in three, two, one, go.
did it. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about what work you did today? Um, I'm still... I know that technically I can just skip the scene that I'm having a hard time on and work on something else in order to just like give myself a lot of like give myself a lot of words basically but there's something about the scene that I just can't move away from I feel like if I figure this out, as soon as I figure this out, I'm going to be able... I'm going to be able to, to know more about my world. Like, it's this is a stepping stone in figuring out the, this particular tone of this particular character. And I've been stalling on this character for such a long time now now would be now would be a good it has to be now like i can't i can't stall from him any longer Whew. yeah so i'm just gonna i'm just i'm just gonna keep banging my face against this wall which is it's not it's not it's not good advice it but it's what I know, it's what I feel I need to do. Oh yeah, it's it's not at all perfect. I just don't know how to write this dude. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I know him as a person, but how do I, how do I take my knowledge of him and translate that into prose? That's not boring. <laughs> How do I deborify this dude? Because he's supposed to be boring. Um, we have this festival that was a block on TV in the 80s where they show Steel Jag, Great Dragon, Guy King, oh, 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 um, Magna Robo Gakin, and Starzinger. I have that same feeling now. I love that. 70s anime and we were happy about the 80s in Chile was a tense moment politically speaking so the vibe in general was weird. <gasps> oh, cool. That's cool. Um I'm just going to I'm just going to put that out there. You don't have to write a sci-fi but as a Chilean person who experienced anime, you are uniquely qualified to write a flavor of sci-fi that I really enjoy, Andrea. Andrea. So if you if you would like to, I personally believe you should. So sci-fi Sci-fi, you should write it, you should write it, you should, you should write it. I had to pause the writing to deal with my cat being an a-hole, but I'm, I'm fine now. Oh. My cat, um, my cat got really upset because of like, I think she could feel storms happening or she could feel like a weird weather pattern and she was not happy. She was just like, I don't like anything. I'm gonna live under my bed. And hate you. <laughs> um, first drafts aren't perfect. Uh, maybe simplify and dot point what you know about him and try to weave it. Gosh, I'll try. I'll definitely try. Thank you for the advice. Um, Andrea, I'm in a scene that I'm actually afraid to write because in my mind it's too much and well, it's, um, it's like what this means even about me. Oh my god, yes! I feel you! What do I mean, boring? I mean academic. 
I mean dry. Um, his the way things the way he experiences the world is very emotionless, detached, cinematic. Perhaps is also yes, indeed. Not Mr. Darcy Dry, because Mr. Darcy is sexy dry. <laughs> um, besides the heart attack, I think I did good. I gave her a red, orange, yellowish eye. Um, r red up. Oh, I see. Orange in the middle, yellow, whitish, and uh, down all blended nicely. And red horns matching the red in the eyes. Nice. What is my point of view? That is a spoiler. So I can't talk about it. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready. I feel like we're ready. Am I ready? That is a spoiler. So I can't talk about it. Don't worry, I'm I'm fine. I'm 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 a big cat squid. I'm just whining. <laughs> I can't I can't talk about it yet. Cause I saved these VODs. Eventually when it comes out I will. Alright. <laughs> Yes. I mean, this is why we all gather together in chats, right? So we can just like, Ugh, I don't know how to fix this thing. And then people try to help us. And we're like, I really want you to help me. But also, I can't talk about it because I'm in the CIA. <laughs> okay, okay. 20 minutes. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, and you need to go now. Remember to save your work. <laughs> I wish you luck. And thank you so much for hanging out with me, Levi. Levi, I still can't pronounce your name, but I am trying. If I told you, I would have to kill you. 20 minutes, starting in three, two, one, go!
fine. Okay, that, that wasn't 20 minutes. Time lied. No. <laughs> How did everybody do? You finished the scene! Good job. How do you feel about it? How, how do you personally, emotionally feel about that scene? I feel like I need to get water. I mean, I technically have water. I'll drink some. But I want sparkly water. Um, Mystic is happy with it. I need to build it out later, but that's fine. When you when you say like build it out later, what do you mean by that? Uh, I I'm just trying to like um figure out other people's terminology for things um that cuz you know, we're all we're all writers, right? We're all basically doing the same thing. But because we're from such different places in the world, or we're looking at things in such completely different ways, some of the things that make sense to us wouldn't necessarily make sense to another person, yeah? So, just, just to satisfy my personal curiosity, what do you mean by build it out later? It's, it's a thought experiment I'm messing with. Also, I really hope that my groceries are um, ready because I am hungry and I really want eggs. <laughs> I just want eggs. So as far as what I did, the voice is slowly getting there. Excuse me. The the voice is slowly, slowly getting there. I think. I think it's it's in the minute detail that I'm struggling with at the moment. Um. I feel like I feel like detail wise I'm not focusing as much on things that my character would be paying attention to. I'm mostly focusing on things that I would pay attention to. And there is a separation between um, me as a writer and them as a character that I have to definitely keep in mind um, while writing his scenes, which is what makes which is what makes him such a difficult character to write um, to begin with. He's complex. Um, not 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 to say that he's complicated. It's just that he has qualities that I myself do not have as a person so whenever I have to think about him I have to like I have to basically dissociate and that's that's hard <laughs> uh, 101 mystic so I tend to write the oh sorry um let me just read this from Amy finish the chonky bits family and friends oh my god I forgot about family. <laughs> well, that's a problem for future me. Um, so I tend to write the bones of the scene first, then the second run through holds that scene and adds details. More information, more movement. 
I'm a theater kid originally, so I like blocking out the important parts and then beginning the set dressing and important details. Whoa! Whoa! That's genius. I love that. I really, I really like that. I... I will think about, I will think about your technique. That's... That is definitely, that's definitely good. Thank you for that. I really appreciate your sharing that with me. Um, I just write the whole thing, but this is the first draft of the first novel, lol, so <laughs> I feel you. Um, I write in close third, um, point of view, so I need to write what the plot is, then add, um, things. Is close third the same as third person limited? Third person limited, limited omniscient. This point of view, often called a close third, is when an author sticks closely to one character but remains in third person. A narrator can do this for the entire novel or switch between different characters or different chapters or sections. Oh. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, I missed. I missed you. Um, Guac. Um, Bill says I'm writing in closer too. I should try that at some point. Whenever I try to do the big stuff, draft one, I end up hating it anyways. So I always get rid of it. Bill replies. I also run and play a ton of D&D, so putting myself in the character's shoes and keeping the plot in view is a practice skill as a DM. Yeah. Amy, the scene I'm writing at the moment is a basic location and mostly uh, the dialogue with a few bits of emotional description, then I go over it and fill it out. Yes, I had to Google that. <laughs> um, that's interesting because I write in the first, which is close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, actually, yeah, you're absolutely right. It would have to be um, in order to be uh, first person, right? So, as a reader, is there a difference between, uh, like, like when you're reading when you're reading um, a book, say? Is there a difference between reading first person present? And first person past. Is there like is there a disconnect for you? Um, do you prefer one over the other? Um, I'm writing in that POV myself, which makes sense for my story, um, says Bill. Mystic says I prefer close third. It's like first person, but when I need to add this detail or slip into an uh, slip into an idea that is outside of the character for whatever reason, it's important to the story. Yes. Unlike first, which you can only stay within their point of view. Absolutely correct. Um, Bill says, I need to clarify my individual chats here in stream more. Note to self, lol. <laughs> Past is more journal-like. So, do you... Would you say that there's, like, um, more of a disconnect between a first-person past like would mm, that would that would be I mean it would stand to reason that there is a disconnect right because if you're if you're doing first person present you're in the action oh sorry <laughs> I'm I'm leaning you're you're in you're in the action in first person present in first person past it already happened like it doesn't feel as immediate um so i hate first uh, so i hate first person presence it tends to still have these additions that past first makes more sense usually we aren't super paid paying attention to everything instantly and it can feel weird in longer descriptive parts but I do know first person is good when you also aren't doing large world building that much these 
this is a good conversation that we just had. Guys, I, I appreciate you for having this talk with me. Thank you. It's, it's giving me a lot of meats to chew on. Why do I say things like that? <laughs> All right, we are almost at the end. It is our second to the last sprint. I am feeling hype. I'm feeling really good about our conversations and the fact that we're all writers here and I can just like ask a question and someone will have an answer for me. Thank you so much. Um, I think it depends on the character because my characters assess the area first usually. Each POV has its purposes. I do not want to be. Thank you. Um, I tend to bring that in the scenes. Oh, I tend and I tend to bring in the senses. Yes. So good. That's that's definitely that's definitely something. Like um I have I have autism or rather I'm on the um the autism spectrum. So there are a lot of things that I will immediately notice that other people will not. Like, um, it's just something that happens in my brain. So first person present, actually, um, the, the way that, um, the way that first person present, you're like, oh, there's no way this person would like notice that because it's something that I wouldn't notice. I notice. <laughs> I, I notice these things. It's always happening in the back of my head. Um, yeah, it's 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 one of those things. I, I I totally I totally understand where Amy is coming from, but I also totally understand where Mystic is coming from. Both of these both of these points of views totally mesh with me. I personally am quite aware and suspect I have Asperger's or traits, so that I could be uh. <laughs> Um, I suspect that I have Asperger's or traits so that I, that could be why I do that. Welcome to, welcome to my family, girl. Um, I do have ADHD and I notice a lot, but it can be a little weird in the pacing of the person. We noticing it in an instant, we're noticing it in an instant, but writing it out takes longer. My noticing things just comes from hypervigilance and PTSD. Woo! Yes! Neurodivergent plant fam! This is great. We're all, we're all beautiful weirdos. <laughs> 20 minutes, starting in 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs>
There's a lot of things that happened in chats um, that I, I feel like we should recap because it's all incredibly, incredibly useful information. Let me scroll up, scroll up. I think one of the most useful things is learning why some POVs work for people and others don't. I've yet to see a first person plural and I would love to. This is from uh, Mystic. Um, in school, says Bill, I was never taught to use per first person for fiction, so. So they lied, because I'm pretty sure Gate. No, it's not. Never mind. They still lied. <laughs> um, I've actually seen first person plural, I responded to 101 Mystic, um, but I can't quite recall if it's Octavia Butler, but I remember reading this point of view in sci fi. Um, I feel like first person plural really works in sci-fi. I've never listened to my teachers anyway because this dyslexic wouldn't be writing novels otherwise. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm just gonna skip that age talk. Hey. <laughs> um, I first fell uh, into it with one of my top four favorite novels and I felt it was just so right for me and I fell in love with the writing style of first person. You are right. It seems to work um, well, really well for a sci-fi genre, which is what I happen to be writing. Um, people are agreeing because yeah, um, I think second person present is one of the weirdest ones and occasionally you'll find good ones, but that one is hecking hard to pull off and make it engaging, which yes, it is so incredibly hard to find like second person point of view without like getting yourself pulled out of the narrative entirely. Um, this is just a summary of what went down afterwards, but like uh, me and Bill basically were agreeing in that you don't know me, you... You don't know me. What are you talking about? <laughs> and Mystic says, I'm ace. If there is romance and it's a you point of view, it's like, no, I'm not interested in romancing. Go away. I can handle it with first person, but second person gets the angies going. Absolutely correct. Um, also, choose your own adventure books. Incredibly difficult to find. All the ones that I have found are like vintage, you know, and yeah, it's it's incredibly it's incredibly hard to find um, choose your own adventure books. There are some that I know that are written in um, Dungeons and Dragons style, but those are also really rare to find. Just like I love choose your own adventure books. It just seems like they're all either out of print and um, a lot of the companies that made first person. Uh, sorry, choose your own adventure books kind of like went out of business. It's It was a style that was really big back when I was a kid, but has kind of disappeared off into the into the forever times. Um, yeah, I can see it working if you're engaged and playing into it like in choose your own adventure, but when it's not you making the choices, and especially if you don't agree, it second first per, uh, second person point of view is terrible. This is what my wife said. Um, I think first person is necessary if you want your character's interpretation and bias to really color the narrative. Also, it's great for the perspective, intentionally unreliable, mystery, good, evil, reframing, etc. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, Shiny Knight responded, that's what I'm doing. I'm playing off the fact that unless these characters communicate, they don't know, which is very very important. Um, yep, I think this is a really important aspect of really reality that most people haven't considered just how limited and biased one's own perspective is. Also, hi, Catherine is here! <laughs> I love your username. Um, also, Vixen is here! Hi, Vixen! Hi, 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 hi. Um, also, Bill's, Bill's kids play Dungeons and Dragons and the seven-year-old is a ranger and the nine-year-old is a monk and I love that so much. I love that so much! <laughs> um, so the ranger is a tabaxi which 
you would think tabaxis would have stealth, right? Because they're cats. The big, the big, the big cats. But uh, but uh, no. She named it Angel Cat. Well, I'm dead. I'm I'm dead. I'm dead from cute. We all productively chatted. <laughs> we're all we're all just chatting right now. Oh no. Okay. That story though, because a seven foot tall human is not going to blend into the background. Seven foot tall human monk is not gonna get ignored. I promise you. Sin is here! Um, with the first person being useful for specific narratives, it's true. I feel like if the character is carrying their problems over, like Nick Carraway in The Great Gatsby, it doesn't feel like the author lied to you from the beginning. Like, unlike if it's third person where the author is specifically keeping things from you. Yep, 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 yep. Also, please do. I feel like you... We're friends on Discord, right? Just shoot, shoot me a pic. Oh, a friend, um, a friend just sent me, um, a beat sheet for... <gasps> no! <laughs> oh no! Angel cat has wings! And I'll... How are you... You know what? Fair! It's fair that you can't stealth. <laughs> and like a crown of roses? Adorable. So cute! Well, I should just end the stream here because I'm dead. I'm dead from cute, you guys. I'm dead from cute. <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> the dice is like, but this will be funny though. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. I think I think we got this. We got this. We got this, right? Um, ugh, adorable. Such adorable. And I can't wait to have um, small humans that I play D and D with. This is this is one of the reasons why you um, you create children, right? That's how that works. You just craft children. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this trope of lesbian is confused by children. 20 minutes, Sprint! <laughs> Starting in 3, 2, 1, go! Also, I actually have to go check on my groceries, so I will be right back.
struggling the name is right there
Okay.
Okay, so I am currently reading through um, Lauren's Google Docs, and uh, there's a there's a lot there's a lot of there's a lot of noise. <laughs> Alright, so, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, this has been incredibly fun. Um, thank you guys for chatting with me about, you know, just, just in general writing stuff. I, I always feel, um, it, it's incredibly lonely, you know, hanging out by yourself, doing the writing. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for just chilling out with me while I write. Um, 101 Mystic wrote 2,000 words! Woo! Um, over this whole thing, not in the last 20 minutes. Uh, but you've done it. I feel like, I feel like you've written 2K in like, in 20 minutes. I don't know, there's just something about you that, I think that's something that you do. Um, Thanks for streaming. It was great to get more words done. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate all the all the chats and the company and Angel Cat, who is basically the best, just the greatest ranger ever known to DND. She she's awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I've said that again. Um, we oh I don't have a um oh uh oh oh OBS is not happy with me right now that was fun thank you I could if I'm not distracted I was distracted so am I oh my gosh I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna babble with you guys for a little bit until uh, OBS decides to behave again <laughs> Happen. It'll happen. I quite like the company I'm all running too. It's not letting me end the stream, but we'll we'll wait. You know, it's fine. I totally did this on purpose. <laughs> OBS wants to keep forever. Are you ready now? No. I think I can write another thousand words. Yeah. <laughs> here um you can look at my empty wall while I wait let me see if I nope nope mm -mm. not yet <laughs> feel like streaming um singing to end off on a large lot no I don't actually <laughs> it's trying okay let me see can I if I press this button. Did anything, did anything happen? <laughs> I'm stuck here. Okay. What if I press this button? Nope. Well, I'm here for the rest of life. <laughs> 